How to cook steak in a frying pan. If you want to eat a delicious steak but don't have a grill available, no worries. You can easily cook your steak in a frying pan. Use a cut of steak at least 1 in 2.5 cm thick for best results and heat it up for 3 to 6 minutes on both sides. Baste your steak with butter and spices for some extra flavor and eat your steak with sides like mashed potatoes, broccoli, and side salad. Don't forget the red wine. Ingredients steak at least 1 in 2.5 cm thick salt pepper herbs optional canola or vegetable cooking oil butter part 1 preparing your steak and pan 1 use a boneless cut of steak about 1 in 2.5 cm thick dot for best results use a thinner cut of steak so you can cook it thoroughly on each side additionally the steak will taste best if it's fresh though you can also defrost a frozen steak prior to frying. If your steak is very wet and moist, pat it dry before you cook it. To marinate your steak in advance to add additional flavor, optional. Place your meat in a bag or glass container, and cover it in a marinade of your choice. Then, seal up the bag or cover the container and place the steak in the fridge for at least 2 hours. Use about half C, 120 milliliters, of marinade per 1 pound, 450 grams, of meat. For best results, marinate your steak overnight. If your marinade has acid, alcohol, or salt, don't marinate for more than 4 hours, since these ingredients denature the food. If your marinade has citrus juices like lime or lemon, don't let it sit it for more than 2 hours. Acidic marinades can change the color of your meat. 3 Sprinkle 1 tablespoon, 14.8 grams, of kosher salt onto each side your steak. The salt will bring out the steak's natural flavors and help the steak brown evenly as you cook it. Salt also helps the browning process as you cook the meat. Salt the steak overnight if you have the time and want to maximize your flavor. Salt the steak 40 minutes before you cook it to mildly enhance the flavor. If you are preparing your steaks now, sprinkle salt over them immediately before you cook. This will still enhance the flavor, though the meat may not be as tender as it would be if you let it soak overnight. 4. Let your steak come to room temperature before you cook it. Remove your steak from the fridge about 30 to 60 minutes before you cook it so the inside will cook consistently and thoroughly. Do this in particular if you have a thick cut of steak. 5. Coat the bottom of cast iron skillet lightly with vegetable oil, then heat for 1 minute. Make sure the vegetable oil covers the entire bottom of the pan in a light, even to prevent burning. Use high heat as you heat your oil, and wait until you oil smokes. Cast iron and heavy duty pans retain heat after you place the steak into the pan, making them great when cooking the steak. Part 2 Cooking Meat 1. Place the steak onto the center of your pan when the oil smokes. When you notice smoke forming from your oil, your pan is hot enough to sear your steak. Put your steak in the middle of your pan using your hands or dogs. If using your hands, be careful not to burn yourself. 2. Cook the steak on one side for 3 to 6 minutes. The length of time you should cook your steak depends on your preferred temperature and particular cut of steak. On average, each side should brown for about 5 minutes. If you prefer a more pink steak, cook each side for less time. For a more well done steak, ensure the outside is brown and charred before you flip it. Alternatively, you can flip your steak every 30 seconds or so if you want to cook your steak faster. 3. Flip your steak once and cook the other side for 3 to 6 minutes. After the first side of your steak is browned, use tongs or a spatula to flip your steak. Flipping your steak only one time helps develop a rich color on both sides and maintain the juices of the meat. This is a good idea if you prefer rare or medium rare steaks since the center stays pink and juicy. 4. Use a cooking thermometer to check the temperature of your meat. Place the tip of a cooking thermometer into the center of your steak and wait for the steak to be about 5 degrees away from your desired temperature, before removing it from the heat. Don't wait for the steak to reach your desired temperature, since your steak will continue to cook after it is removed from heat. 9. 120 degrees Fahrenheit, 48.8 degrees Celsius, equals rare. 130 degrees Fahrenheit, 54.4 degrees Celsius, equals medium rare. 140 degrees Fahrenheit, 680 degrees Celsius, equals medium. 150 degrees Fahrenheit, 65.5 degrees Celsius, 
equals medium well. 160 degrees Fahrenheit, 71.1 degrees Celsius, equals well done. 5. Use the finger test if you don't have a cooking thermometer. Touch your middle finger to your thumb, then use your dominant hand to poke the fleshy spot underneath your thumb. Then, use the same finger to poke the steak and compare the feeling. If they feel the same, your steak is medium rare. For other temperatures, use the following fingers. Rare, touch your index finger to your thumb. Medium, touch your ring finger to your thumb. Well done, touch your pinky finger to your thumb. Part 3 Cutting and Serving Your Steak Remove the steak from the pan and let it sit for about 5 to 15 minutes for best results. Letting your steak rest ensures none of the tasty juices will run out when you cut into it. Your steak will also continue to cook slightly during this time. To make sure your steak doesn't cool, cover it with aluminum foil or place it in your oven set to the lowest setting. 2. Cut your steak into small strips by slicing against the grain. Locate the direction of the grain, or the way the muscle fibers are in place. Then, use a sharp steak knife to slice the meat across the grain, instead of parallel with it. Make your cuts every half dash 3 quarters in. 1.3 to 1.9 centimeters, to make thin slices. 3. Serve your steak with delicious sides. Steak goes great with side dishes like mashed potatoes, broccoli, garlic bread, and salad. Pick one to three sides and eat them along with your steak for a delicious, healthy meal. Pair your steak with Cabernet Sauvignon for a delicious wine option. You can also eat vegetables like corn on the cob, spinach, and asparagus with your steak.